Hi, my name is Mark. I'm one of the owners and builder of Magpie House. I'd like to acknowledge that Magpie House is built on the traditional lands of the Ngunnawal and Ngambri people and that a treaty uh, of these lands has never been sought and sovereignty was never ceded. Magpie House uses the traditional passive solar design methodology of manipulating orientation, glazing, insulation, thermal mass, uh, ventilation, and more modern building science techniques of air tightness and high performance products like uh, UPVC double glazing uh, to leverage the natural climactic variation of your, of your built location uh, to reduce energy consumption and maintain thermal comfort. The new house is an 8.2 star um, all electric house. Uh, it's got 10 kilowatts of PV solar on the roof uh, and efficient appliances like an air source heat pump for hot water. In terms of size, the new build is 160 square meters of internal condition space. There's 25 square meters of external um, accessed storage space, a 25 square meter carport and about 50 square meters of external decking that makes the internal space seem a lot larger than it really is. Uh, we used pretty standard building materials and processes. Uh, it's a 90 millimeter timber stud frame wall with lightweight cladding on the outside, and that's either galvanized corrugated iron or compressed fiber cement sheet. Uh, in the living spaces, we did use a reverse brick veneer. Um, that's partly for additional thermal mass inside um, the house. Uh, and also it's to act as a, um, an acoustic barrier between the living spaces and the bedrooms. So there's a bedroom just on the other side of that wall. Um, the slab is a 120 millimeter uh, waffle pod slab. Um, the insulation is all pretty standard. There's R6 uh, in the roof. Um, and then there's R2.4 glass bats in the walls. And then the waffle pods act as insulation for the slab. Uh, and in addition to that, there's also uh, 50 millimeter XPS foam on the slab edge, uh, which goes down to the bottom of the footings. In terms of glazing, we used the De Kernick, uh UPVC windows, uh, a mixture of these big lift and slides, uh, some fixed panes, as well as some uh, operable windows at the uh, top of the cathedral ceiling, which enables us to flush out hot air uh, in summer at night time. Uh, by pushing the house to the southern boundary, uh, we were able to get all our living space, as well as all our bedrooms, and an additional uh, multi-purpose room, which is a guest room study, uh, on the northern side. By having appropriate sized eaves, we're able to um, block out the summer sun. Um, and in winter, when the sun's lower in the sky, we get lots of sun through these windows, which heats up the slab. And then that radiates back into the rooms um, in the evening, which makes it really cozy. Uh, each bedroom has um, a large window uh, that has an operable um, section at the bottom. This one is gated off because it's our toddler's room. Uh, but it also has a, a high level window and a fan. So uh, in a summer sort of scenario, um, once the heat of the day is finished and the cool changes come through, uh, you can open up all the windows uh, and that's done by using a, a wall switch. Uh, these are also um, Wi-Fi enabled wall switches so I can have it set on a, a regular seasonal schedule so it'll operate uh, even if we're not at home. One of the challenges if you pursue a passive solar design house is that you end up with a lot of hard um, reflective surfaces and that can become an issue once you have noisy kids or dinner parties or anything like that. So one of the um, interesting solutions that I came up with to address um, acoustic comfort was to create this acoustic ceiling. Um, essentially it's um, some marine ply uh, plywood that I cut into strips and that's installed 
uh, with a small shadow gap of about 10 millimeters between them. Um, and above that, there's a black backing material and then the bulk insulation. Um, what this does is it provides an acoustic permeable surface that uh, absorbs a lot of frequencies that are in the human vocal range. So if you have a lot of people in the space, it doesn't become too uncomfortable um, acoustically. This pergola um, will eventually have a stacking Roman blind uh, system in each of the bays. It'll be able to be operated to provide shade to the deck in summer uh, and also provide additional uh, shading to the windows in the shoulder seasons um, if that uh, solar ingress into the house is becoming too much and making it too warm. Materials like the hardwood timber reclaimed from the old house have been used in the new build uh, in a number of areas. For example, there's uh, it was used extensively for the handles and grills on all the uh, internal joinery. Um, also architectural detailing like these battens for the kitchen. Uh, I also made uh, custom light fittings using the old bearers from the old house. So they're located throughout. And also you can see in the kitchen all the handles. We're able to zone the house by using these large format cavity sliders. There's one here that separates the open plan living and dining from the main hallway. And so the southern side is all the services. There's a powder room, a bathroom. There's a workshop on the other side of this wall. And then there's another and then here we have a laundry slash second bathroom and the multi-purpose everything else room. In terms of other sustainability um, features of the house, we have a 4,000 litre rainwater tank that is plumbed to all the roofs um, and it has a pump which supplies water to the two toilets and to the washing machine. Uh, with the pretty large solar system that we have on the roof, we export um, enough across a year that we have um, net positive energy bills. So we get paid um, to be connected to the grid. Um, and that also includes quite a bit of charging of our plug-in hybrid car. So uh, we can get about 30 to 35 kilometers of range on that. Um, and given our inner city location, that covers most of our weekly transport needs. So that's a wrap up of Magpie House. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Uh, and if you'd like to know more and you are in the Canberra region, feel free to come along to the Open House Day for Sustainable House Day. I'll see you then. Bye.